Behind the ornate doors of some of the most exclusive embassies in Washington, D.C., lurks a dark secret. Foreign diplomats abusing workers in their homes. Domestic servants forced into lives of indentured servitude, even slavery. And they often get away with it, invoking a policy called diplomatic immunity when accused, which protects them from being prosecuted in a foreign country. It happens just miles from the White House here in Washington, D.C. Ambassador Luis Cidavaca directs the State Department's office to monitor and combat trafficking in persons. We hear m way too many stories from around the world of diplomats who think that they have carte blanche to treat their servants badly. I thought about dying. One alleged victim, Rosemary Martel from Peru, whose nightmare began in 2008 when she was hired by a Peruvian diplomat to work for him while stationed in the U.S. She was told she would be working at this house in which the diplomat no longer lives, that she would work 40 hours a week at $1,500 a month. How much did they end up paying you? $300 a month. $300 a month? Yes. But the paltry wages were the least of it. The treatment, she alleges, was abusive. Do you think that they basically treated you like a slave? Sí. ¿Por qué? Yes, because I worked from 5.30 a.m. when I woke up until 11.30 or midnight every single day. They asked me to give them massages every day to both of them, even foot massages. He would touch my legs and ask to see me in a bikini. She says the diplomat confiscated her passport. Rosemary thought she was trapped. You were afraid that you had to do everything that they told you to do? They threatened me with hurting my family if I left. They also threatened to call immigration to get me deported. Rosemary's story is unfortunately quite common. The Government Accountability Office looked into this issue in 2008 and found that in recent years, 42 domestic workers officially alleged they were abused by their foreign diplomat employers. And they said the actual numbers of victims are likely higher. Just last month in McLean, Virginia, the Department of Homeland Security rescued two women from the Philippines from a multi-million dollar house owned by the Saudi embassy. They were working for a Saudi diplomat who, U.S. officials say, held their passports and forced them into lives of indentured servitude. An investigation is underway. Attorney Martina Vandenberg represents a victim who was just awarded $1 million after being abused by a Tanzanian diplomat here. The common thread among all of these cases is that the diplomats have total immunity, which means you cannot investigate them appropriately, you cannot arrest them, you cannot question them. It's almost impossible to do an investigation that would lead to a waiver of immunity to actually prosecute them in the United States. In this case, with the help of the group Casa de Maryland, Rosemary Martel was able to flee, and she later pressed charges against the Peruvian diplomat who claims that she's making everything up. He, however, also claimed diplomatic immunity, and the case has therefore gone nowhere. Their hands tied in many ways, the State Department recently took a number of measures. The newest unit in the diplomatic security services looks at human trafficking here in the U.S. And the State Department has just started briefing domestic workers brought here by foreign diplomats, giving them pamphlets with important information. It just tells them, you've got rights in the United States. Even if they could take your passport and lock it up back home, even if they could take your money back home, they shouldn't. But in the United States, if they do that, they're committing a crime. After two years of what she describes as slavery, Rosemary Martel says she has recovered and is now building a family and a life for herself here in the United States. Now I'm happy. I have my six-month-old baby. She is my happiness. I'm happy because I'm working with a group of women to let others know their rights so that the same things that happen to me don't happen to them.